Take it easy, man. I got you. Leave him. He should have been more careful. Now he's paid the price for his incompetence. But he's one of us. Then perhaps you'd like to share his fate. I must say, you're showing a surprising amount of compassion for that man, considering he would surely have left you to die in his place. With all the compartments on your belt, you'd think there'd be one for tissues. Thanks. Pulling through. The hot chemical bath did the trick. You could use a hot bath yourself. I can't worry about a cold now. After Batman drops our unconscious guest at police headquarters, <coughs> Bruce Wayne has got a meeting with Mr. Ferris Boyle. Bruce Wayne, it's been forever. How have you been? Still the terror of the Gotham night scene? <coughs> I get around. Speaking of terror, what's this I hear about someone causing trouble for Gothcorp? You got me. Some fruitcake has it out for my company. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's an investor who lost money. <coughs> or an angry ex-employee. There's only one man who'd hate Gothcorp that much. If you were alive. Who? One of our scientists. An obsessed wacko. He was caught using company equipment for personal reasons. I had to send my security men in. There was a fight, an explosion. We lost him. <coughs> what was he doing? Wasting company money. My money. Look, Bruce, that people company line is great PR, but when the wage slaves start acting like they own the place, it's time to pull the plug. Know what I mean? Sir, the humanitarian committee is here. I'll be right out. We're hosting a ceremony tonight for Gotham's humanitarian industrialist of the year. Guess who's winning? I feel ill. <coughs> Excuse me, Ferris. My cold. Congratulations on your award. I'm sure it's well deserved. And I want to say that these unwarranted attacks against Gothcorp have in no way changed our personal commitment to the community. Inspirational words from Gotham's Humanitarian Industrialist of the Year. Compassion, charity. Where were those pretty words when she needed to hear them? Master, the cannon must be completed tonight. I have my own warm wishes to bestow on Mr. Boyle. When Ferris mentioned that explosion, I remembered this headline from last year. Does it say what caused the accident? No. And I suspect that's the reason for the cover-up. I won't know for sure until I check Gothcorp's classified files. 